hey what is up guys it's cool freak here back with another new review video uh, in this i'm going to review this mi wi-fi router 3 so let's get started so guys let's start uh, in this i will be you know talking about pros and cons and feature of it so let's start with the details as you can see the quantity of the antenna is 4 router connectivity type ethernet wireless transmission rate that is 1167 mbps speed of the ethernet ports that is uh, 100 mbps each it comes with you know 128 mb of rom and have a unique app to control it available on android and ios so i will be leaving the link in the description down below so go and check it so guys going to the towards the voltage that is 12 volts and 1 amps inbuilt language comes with you know stock default chinese firmware and the product i got from the ebay it comes with chinese firmware then i flash the english version in it at last uh, i will explain how to set up by the way if you got english firmware by default then you can skip the last part of the video so guys let's continue so guys the weight of it's approx you know 220 grams what inside the box it comes with the original xiaomi mi wi-fi dual brand you know wireless router 3 and uh, one power adapter like i got flat uh, flat us type and uh, another one is user manual uh, which is no use if you can understand chinese that's it so guys okay you guys might be wondering that what is dual brand let me explain simultaneously you know uh, like dual band networks like 2.4 gigahertz like 300 mbps and uh, 5 gigahertz of 867 mbps they both are there and when the feature is on you know 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz network will share a name that's it the router will choose the best available signal for example it will switch to 5 gigahertz network if the device is close and uh, to 2.4 network like if it's far while switching some you know like fluctuation may occur uh, so i will tell you to just stick to one network only so let's start up our setup so guys going toward the app in android uh, this helps you to see the you know current stats about the upload and download speed and also you can check the paired device and can set speed limit per device you know that is kind of very good it also allows you a storage so you can reset your network drivers here so and um, it also got a market store so no use uh, for plugins uh, so you can update you can make you can see many things over here so that's it as you can see the Xiaomi's network over here you just go and connect it so guys after connected uh, one browser will be you know popping up for login so guys if you are not able to get that on your own so just go and open any kind of browser and just uh, you know type the link that is miwifi.com and go next so you will be seeing this kind of you know and just going loading thing in most of these are in chinese so guys uh, as you can see over here is everything is in chinese so i will you know separate one window for you know translated version of this page so just first watch it then try on your own then guys click on the middle button so guys in the next step uh, you will be seeing the name of the wi-fi don't change it otherwise uh, you will be having some kind of you know problem of renaming it afterwards so first reset all the things after that you can change it so um, uh, go to the password and reset your password whatever you want to type over there after that click on ok again that is the next step then guys after hitting next step just wait this kind of window over here it will load and reset the thing so you will be get disconnected after this so guys after that you know as you can see over here uh, like show me one is secured so go and connect and type your password 
so guys again it will be popping up in the window uh, or otherwise you can go and type miwifi.com simply so guys this kind of window will be coming over here as you can see the thing is in the middle one the wifi router is there and the right left side one phone and you know tablet are there that is green line and the internet one is red uh, so you need to set up your dns and all so i will guide you through that if you are using any kind of you know um, local local internet so it, you have to do it manually otherwise like you are using kind of in india you are using kind of beam fiber and all hardware and all they are used to get you know automatic ip so uh, you no need to do this it will automatically grab that so guys after logging in so guys in this you can see the whole page the whole setup everything is there but it is in chinese so in this also i will guide you through the english one so just watch over here as you can see guys show me d613 and there will be total 1 2 3 4 5 option will be popping out in chinese so you need to go to the second one so guys if you scroll down into that and if you go to the below that you can find the second last one uh, if you click that if you, you will get the english version so click on it and after that go up it will be you know converted also in english so you know if you you can go for the check for updates but i will recommend not to do it otherwise it will revert back to you know chinese one until unless for this device english firmware is officially launched so guys so guys in case you are getting you know uh, still you are not getting the english version so just you can follow the steps like detecting the you know uh, my icons over here in my video so you can just pause it over there and proceed your steps so guys now go to the you know network setting uh, you know kind of globe kind of thing will be there so guys uh, so guys as you can see in the second one that is there is a network setting in that uh, selected one is dhcp uh, if you are using you know local one so guys uh, click on it and drop down over there and go to the statistic ip address so guys after selecting the static ip address you can be seeing the ip address subnet marks gateway and dns and dns2 so for that uh, you might be familiar with this one over you know network setting you might be getting one from your network provider so just go to the network settings and to that uh, go to you know uh, go back uh, go to the change adapter settings in that uh right click on the ethernet or double click on it and go to ip4 and you can find the these kind of ip addresses so guys uh, i will recommend you to just go and copy all those things so after that guys it got connected so guys as you can see my login page came up so so as you can see guys many options are here storage is there you know advanced settings so guys in that very thing various things are there you know you know uh, direct ip assignment dns ddns you know vpn is there additional setup you can just go and you know play with that and uh, but you should not mess up with the default settings that is it uh, otherwise it will again revert back to you know chinese so uh, i will recommend guys if you are you know um, uh, you are facing any kind of problem like again you are reverting back to the you know Chinese version after the update after the auto update so I will recommend to keep your you know Wi-Fi setting in Chinese also it will will not harm any your PC and all nothing and nothing will will happen with that so until unless you are doing some kind of you know pro thing so uh this is it for this video guys hope you find this video very helpful so just you know share this video like it comment it you know ask each and everything i will be providing the links of you know the firmware of english in the description down below so just go and check it and thank you for watching guys i will catch you in the next one later